Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my survival island. Today we're back up here at the mob farm and we're going to finish off this redstone. We're going to get that clock going. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the mob farm. And last time we were together, we put in some redstone torch towers. I know that was compelling footage. It was compelling footage. But, I, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes I have discussion topics I would like to cover. And, you know, it just, uh, you know, i got to have some sort of an avenue, right? So, so if you were not the least bit interested in that discussion topic, I'm sorry. But that's what you get here. It's... Uh, it's just what it is so what we're doing now is we're working on the redstone that's going to be controlling this so we've got four redstone torch towers and we need them all to be controlled by a single point on a clock a redstone clock that we're gonna uh, well I've already worked out in my creative testing world yes I went ahead and did that because I didn't want to try and figure this out on camera with you. I am out of my comfort zone in terms of this particular redstone clock because I have no comparators available. That's right. We don't have comparators because we're waiting to get comparators until we can harvest quartz with a fortune three pick. And we can't go to the nether until we've got a diamond pick and I'm not harvesting any diamonds until I at least hit them up with a fortune three pick. So, so we've got to get two fortune three picks. The first one on a, oh, we don't have to get a fortune three diamond pick. We may be able to, to scoot around that. But the way we're going to be doing that is with hopefully a fishing farm, an auto fishing farm that can produce what we're looking for. And so the way to get uh, a fishing farm going is string. I would go with enchantments, but we don't have cows on the island and we don't have sugar cane. So no paper, no leather, which means no books. So no enchanting. Uh, so that's that's our um, our limitation. And the only, well, there's there's another way. If fishing does not end up doing what I'm looking for, then we'll have to go the villager trading route, which is problematic to say the least. So I don't want to go that route. It does not excite me at all. So um, we can do it. We will do it. Uh, no, we can't do it. We can't do it because we have to go to the nether to get potions. Fishing is our only option, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized that. Fishing is our only option. I have pulled Fortune 3 out of a fisher before, so we should be fine. Um, I'm not too worried about that. What, what I'm going to do now is um, we've got to maybe get some regular cobble. We'll come off one like that. And then we'll do the same thing like this over here. And so what I've done is I've tied both sides of this of these torch towers together with a, a bit of redstone is that gonna be right no 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 no. I don't I think something's something's off here something is off we've got a piston below okay yeah that's all well and good Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I need a dot of redstone on top of that. But I don't think that's going to happen. And I didn't make my... It might. Yeah, it might. It might. So yeah, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. Okay? We'll see what happens. We'll put a dot of redstone there. And just so I don't keep on worrying about such things there oh we have to come along like this and this is probably where the clock is going to go but I've got a shovel and that's fine 
All right, so what we do is put a piece of dirt there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dirt, dirt. There we go. Dirt McGirt. All right, we can bring some cobblestone slabs. Again, I'm trying to bring this in um, and work off of my design here. And it's going to be kind of awkward. So... So let's just do this, maybe get a little bit more of a platform going here, and we'll have to dig out all of the scaffolding. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so that connects. All right, so what I did is I took these, uh, this side of torch towers, tied it together with this redstone. And the reason I didn't run this block into this block here is because that would have turned the redstone signal and kept it from pointing into this block. And same thing on the other side. Well, it's pointing into that block. And so that means we're going to power that directly. And then we'll come over here and tie both sides together. Like so. One more. Do, do, do. And can we do that? Okay, and that connects up. We should be good to go on that regard. Which means, yep. So let's just do a quick test. And, okay, so that should have taken, yeah, so each, each layer is going to be slightly delayed from the one below because of the redstone torch tower. So let's just drop down here and we'll clean up this. It would be nice to have an iron shovel right about now. Maybe I should have made one of those, but we'll, we'll just take this down because we need a little bit of room for the clock mechanism. All right, so I tied this set of torch towers together. I tied that set of torch towers together, and then I tied the two of them together with this line of redstone right here. So let's see how we can make that line of redstone come together in a clock of some form. All right, so what are we going to do? do there oh I see I see I see I see is that yeah there we go all right so I'm missing something and what do you think I might be missing you hazard guess anyone want to hazard a guess I should have used a repeater so let's try that instead um, and the reason you use a repeater is just in this case to uh, make sure the signal is strong enough to get up to those things because we're going to be coming in uh, somewhere over over there on the on the uh, signal so tear that down do the same thing over here pick up the extra dirt that I thought I had picked up already and like so so as as I've said before we're, um, we're a little bit awkward here Okay, I'm trying to turn this or get this thing into some sort of, a, um, you know, order from my creative testing world. So I'm going through my uh, my screenshots here from from that. Yeah, so so we've got the line that's connecting the two sets of torch towers, and now it's time to work on the clock. This is going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be, yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to kind of work backwards, and I hope, hope that makes sense. We'll come down here. We need a block like so, and then another block like that. Yeah, and then from there, we'll grab the dirt and just start putting in our slabs like this and hopefully not walk off the edge that'd be bad and we'll come come back this way and I've got this corner knocked out in my test world but what we need to come do is right here yeah yeah so all right so we'll we'll knock out what we need to knock out as as we go on so we'll just come around like this come out one from from the side there 
we're going to be wrapping a series of, of redstone repeaters around our tower here. Uh, is that right? Is that right? Let's see. Our on-off switch is going to go right here. Is that right? Yep. And then we'll need some more of these right like so and our on off switch get ready for this we don't have any sticky pistons can i jump here yeah okay so we're gonna have to go with a regular piston and a spot of gravel so what's what's going to happen is a signal for turning the machine on will come in right on here i should have done that to start with okay so that's going to allow the signal to go through and that'll turn on the clock that's coming around and around and around like that uh, did i do that i did that incorrectly the yeah i did that incorrectly so that's where our signal needs to go let me take that and thank you it's going to go over here. Let's go like that. And we'll put down our regular piston and our piece of gravel. Yep. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to have some more of these slabs. No, these slabs. And we'll just bring these around. And I think... They come around like this. And I say, I think, again, screenshot on my own system here. And let's take a look at, uh, we've got a redstone torch that's going to be in the mix of things. Yeah, so there we go. I'm trying to figure this out on screen. It's a little bit, a little bit odd. All right, so what we're going to do is come back up to our our main redstone area here and so this gravel when it's extended it's going to allow the redstone signal to go in two directions first through a series of of um, repeaters along this line and then some redstone dust right here so we need to kind of bring that together and let's get redstone dust coming up like so and that should connect see that right there see the the texture change so we want that that's a good thing and then what we do is we're going to run uh, all right so that's where our repeaters need to be and we'll come come around like that all right and then we'll get some repeaters boom 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 and those are all on the full delay And then these are not on the full delay. And that's rather close. Aha, this should be, yep, this should be one over. And I am lucky that this thing is not turned into uh, cobble, or not cobble, but flint yet. Yeah, we need to take this out and then we come in. I'll get it right eventually. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And so we'll put down our gravel. There we go. All right. And now we can kind of work backwards here like that and like that. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five repeaters. So we need one, two, three, four. Yep another one right there and then we'll put a that, block right like so and then we'll put another set it's builders inventory you gotta love it gotta love it and I'll come I'll have to come around from the other side to make sure that these repeaters are on the correct uh, pointedness if you will and then we take that and we'll get a redstone torch like so we don't need that block 
and I'll have to come through and clean up all of this in a later time. Full delay all the way on this one. Full delay on this. And full delay on the other side. Regular, regular delay here. Okay, so I can take this out. And then, yeah. Yep. And we'll take, take all this out. And we should be able to, at this point, hear the machine working. Well, once I get that other repeater in place. Where is it? Right. Should be right over here. So we'll put that in place. And then we can just give it a test run. Hopefully all is working. And let's come up here. Little dirt tower. We are finishing this this uh, this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna finish. Okay. There we go. All on the four four tick delay. All right. So let's grab our lever and okay. And let's go watch the progress. Okay, so they should be extended and then all contracted. Okay, good. Okay. Looks like this one is working fine. Yep. And then this one. Okay. Okay. So, the next order of business is to fill in the water and and yeah, and then we'll be we'll be good to go. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to again, I want to take care of this in this episode. I want this thing running in this episode. So, we're going to turn that off. I'm going to go grab some water and we'll get an infinite water spring going up here and then I'll clean up on the inside of here. We're going to do a little jump cut. I know I've said I want to avoid those in in our our survival island here, but desperate times, desperate measures. All right, so I'm going to take care of that off camera. We'll fill in the water when we come back and then give it a test run. All right, so I'll see you in just a moment. And one there and one there. And I do believe that we've gotten all of the area done. So we're going to kind of retreat a little bit here and take out all of our extra material. We did a little bit too much on these roofs. That's fine. No harm, no foul. Just a little bit extra to, to take out right like that. Same right there and there. And make sure we don't fall down the middle. And I want to keep at least one of those and then we can put away the rest of the water. All right, so we'll get rid of that. Probably should have gotten both of them back in case I need to redo this whole thing. And then what we'll do is knock this out And then believe, let's see, which side, which side is our island on? I made, okay, I guess it's on this side. Ye no, here. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is drop out of here and put, kind of back out this way. You see this, and there we go. All right, now... We'll turn this thing back on, and eventually we should see the torches all dropping off. Okay, and then I am going to go like this just for fast travel down, and we should be able to see some mobs coming through here soon uh, if we are so lucky. There we go. Got all of that. And we'll see if we do get some. Okay, I hope we do. Because it should be dark enough up there. If it is not dark enough... Hmm. 
Let's check our, our options. We are on hard mode. We'll see. Nothing yet. It should be spawning. We should be spawning some. Anything? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Could be that our clock is not good enough. Anything here? Nothing. Now, we definitely should not have a mob cap on the hostile mobs. So, so let's see. Let's go up here, see if we can take a look from this vantage point. Can't see anything up there. Definitely should be spawnable. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to go check. All right. Well, let me do a little bit of debugging, and then I'll bring you back. I hate to have so many jump cuts, but I really do want this done in this episode. Anyway, see you in... Oh, well, we got a little bit. Hmm. How about this? What if... I'll, I'll still do a jump cut, but we'll go for a little bit longer, and I'll AFK. How about that? Yeah. You know what? Maybe I need to AFK. I know, I know. I need to AFK way up in the air to unload any caves or anything that are down below. Maybe we'll do that. I'll make a, a really tall AFK platform way, way, way up there. That's 24 blocks away from the spawner. And that should, should help us. So let's do that. All right, back in a bit. Well, I didn't spend too much time up there, but that is a sand tower that is 128 blocks in the air. And because it is sand, we can do this little trick and hopefully pick all of it back up. We're missing some of it, but that's fine. And so what we'll do after all of it falls down, it takes a while for two stacks of sand to fall. It took a while to build it back up too. It takes a lot more to, to build it back up than for it to fall down. So we lost some dirt. Any other? Hopefully not. Let's take a look at our inventory. Sweet. Got it back. All right. Let's go see how that did for us. And we should be, should be doing pretty good. I saw some other things fall down. Um, but, you know, since we haven't done a lot of cave lighting, maybe we need to do a little bit more. Maybe we actually need to go caving. So I'll bring you along for that. That is... Um, underwhelming, to say the least. I didn't spend that long there, but that's very underwhelming. So we got one piece of wool now. Hmm. Probably need AFK overnight up in that, that thing. Hmm. Well, 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 well. All right. Let's see if we've got any spawns up there and between now and the next time we're together, I'm going to AFK a lot and we'll see about getting some of those supplies built up. I will also dig out all of this area and we'll get this thing cleaned up and looking a little bit better. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. Do we have any? Yeah, nobody. Nobody's really spawning up there. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll do some other debugging to make sure that our light levels are correct in there. If they aren't, then maybe we put some more, some more blocking blocks, so light blocking blocks, but it should be completely dark in there. Anyway, I will, I'll do some cleanup off camera and we'll get a little AFK spot, a little more permanent one set up for us a little ways away from here and then we'll see about getting the best possible rates for it but that's going to be it for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and tell me what you think about the clock that we have going there given that we don't have any comparators anyway we should soon have enough string even at those pitiful rates we should have enough here soon that we will uh, we'll 
be working on a fish farm soon and maybe even get a bed here soon, which would be awesome so that we can get rid of the nighttime as, as we need. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.